Welcome to the Amschlange Rocks Promenade. It's a two kilometer walk from here until the end where we end on the nature reserve. Uh, we're going to be taking a walk into the nature reserve as well. And uh, this is where it starts. Not many people know it starts from here. They automatically assume that when you see the lighthouse, that's where it starts from. But the actual start point is here. You guys may be missing the ocean. So here's a quick view of it. It's a beautiful day out here. Not too cold, not too hot. It's uh, manageable weather for anybody, including people who don't like hot weather. How's that view? Right, so I'm sure to you at home it may seem like I've just been walking for like about a minute or even less uh, but I have been walking for over like seven minutes and I had to keep to a, a specific pace. So this is the uh, famous Amschlange uh, lighthouse and let me just show you the top here. It's uh, currently under construction. It's been that way for a while now, since before COVID. So here's another stopping point. Uh, we're taking a small break here as well. Um, and I had to remove my camera from the gimbal because it's actually, the wind is so heavy here. It's actually pushing my camera completely off. Uh, you may have seen that quickly. So uh, this is the Amschlanga Pier area, Amschlanga Rocks Pier. Uh, these uh, little structures here that you see is supposed to signify like a whale rips area. So yeah, make, that, make with that what you will. Uh, so we're heading on over to the end here and uh, people use this, with this area specifically for lots of shoots like they do weddings, they do functions, they uh, propose here. So if you bend your knee here, that's on you. Uh, but it's also a beautiful view of the ocean here and you have a personal point of view um, looking over the ocean. They've also got this, these uh, little perforated areas here where you can actually see You can see the ocean and uh, here is your point of view. It's absolutely beautiful out here and it's absolutely windy so I'm afraid for my phone it might fly away. So yeah, here's the perspective of your side. Again, sorry I didn't carry my mic with me so you, I hope you guys can hear me. Here's how long our walk is going to be. So we finished that side. We're going to be going all the way until your eye can see it. That's how far we're going to be going. So it's, it's only like a quarter of the space is done. All right, just taking the views. We're going back to hyperlapse. So yeah, on this side here, you'll see the pearls of Amschlanga. We've got another project that's happening behind that, which is, uh, I think it's uh, the oceans of Amschlanga. And that's supposed to basically be like a collide effort that's going to basically overtake the pearls of Amschlanga to be one of the largest and tallest buildings here in Amschlanga Rocks. So let's hope that it brings in the tourism that it's supposedly supposed to bring through. Uh, apparently there's going to be a mall, there's going to be uh, many, many accommodations inside there. I'm not even sure. Uh, so you can uh, check that out. I think it was open to the public to invest into it. And you can you could invest something from a thousand rand to a billion rand, depending on how much money you've got available to yourself. So 
en route you can also buy yourself a coffee, cappuccino or even a latte here at Rock's Coffee Company. Okay, so here you have a couple of restaurants uh, all in close proximity to your walk so you can go here and have a coffee cappuccino maybe go for a breakfast in the morning or supper if you're going later on in the evening or afternoon and there are more restaurants here there's a, lo a lovely outside area here where you can actually watch the ocean here's the ocean area as you can see it's a weekday but it is quite busy here You got some donuts here? Hi. And here you can actually hire umbrellas and seats. Chairs. I forget to mention this, there's also a toilet area here. Uh, they've got a few of these facilities. So you can just go in there and wash your legs off if you have to. And then maybe if you've got an emergency, you know what I mean? So overall inside here is quite nice as compared to other public facilities. This is quite decent. Right, so here's another stop uh, about half a kilometer away from the last one and uh, here you can have a meal, you can have supper, you can have lunch, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, there are lots of places here, it's Amslanga Sands Resort and so if you just take a detour here. There are lots of restaurants, little takeaways, eateries, you can have yourself a good time here and it's beautiful. Just take your time, go off path, maybe you can have something to drink, have a little beer, no one will know. And you can get back onto your walk or your run, whichever you prefer. Well, after having a meal, I don't think you can go anywhere. I'm trying to stand. So, yeah, it's a beautiful area. Pizzas, pastas, steaks, desserts, whatever you want. It's beautiful out here. Okay, and when once you're done, head back onto your run. Pretend like nothing happened. Other. So we came from that way and we're going down this way. Alright, hyperlapse time. Okay, so if you made it this far, we're at the end. Uh, well, technically it's not actually the end, but it's the end for the walk. So you can uh, go down this way, have a seat here, and enjoy the view for a few minutes before you head back on your walk or run.
you guys and guys make me excited. Sorry. Alright, so either you can do that or what a view that is. Or you can head back in here and continue walking through the Amslanga Nature Reserve. So here you have a choice here, a very easy one actually. Uh, to go right, you're going to end up on the walkway. They've upgraded the walkway by the way. This never used to be like this. This was a uh, proper forest and uh, they've upgraded it. You can't bring your dog here unfortunately. It's just you. And uh, they have upgraded this place so nicely. This was never here before. It was all ground and now they've upgraded it. It looks really nice. Wow, this is quite nice. This is a nice experience. <laughs> Obviously, if you're a runner or a jogger or something of that sort, you'll be disappointed because uh, you're running on uh, on this here. They deck the place basically, and I think they're going to do a little bit more, as you can see here. <laughs> they're going to do a little bit more. But uh, let me quickly get back onto the track here. This is quite nice. I mean, for a lazy person like me. This is, this is the best thing ever. Look at the amount of greenery around here. Look at the... This is comfort, man. Yo. And I think they're still building on that side there. Let's go have a look. Okay. So they are building on that end there. I can hear them banging stuff away there. So this is going to be a proper pathway. Uh, decked out proper pathway. Really nice. Check it out. How's it, gents? Hello, hello. How are you? Alright, alright. So, if you decide not to go that way and you want to go your own way, well, that's left. Uh, you're going to end up at the hotel. Uh, I'm not sure what the hotel is called again, but uh, down the road here. You'll end up at the hotel. I think it's uh, something with beach. I'm actually not sure. I forgot the name. Cabana Beach, maybe. I could be wrong. Yeah, so this is another relaxation place. They've got a nice uh, volleyball uh, court here where you can play some volleyball. I don't know if it's actually only for the people who book into the hotel. But, well, we came out here and played a few times. No one stopped us. Right, and this is... Uh, this is the other end of Amtlanga. Right, so we're gonna, we got a long walk back, all the way back. So stick with me, we're gonna make it out of this. So obviously the number one question that everyone wants to know is, is it safe to be out here? And uh, I'd say, yeah, it is. It's almost like a utopia here in South Africa, especially in KZN with the high crime rate that we have, which we can't deny. Um, this is one of the areas that's actually very well secured in terms of uh, the amount of security companies that are present here. I think at any given day you can take a drive through Amslanga and you'll find about 40 or 50 security companies in the area. Because of the value of the properties here in Amslanga, you find that there's a lot more uh, security companies than you'll find anywhere else. Uh, I'd compare it to Santon and Midrand if I had to. And of course uh, the, the high-end cities in Cape Town as well. So it's quite well protected here and the property prices are just going up every single year. So it becomes more and more difficult for somebody who's coming out of a job or coming out of school to be able to afford a property here in Amslanga. Uh, you will, however, get a flat for about a million rand, starting from a million rand. I have not seen any flats here in Amslanga that go below a million rand, but you can get one for about a million rand. Uh, that'll set you back about 10, or 12,000 rand every single month, including your insurance. So living here in Amshlanga is also uh, pretty expensive. So what about somebody who is looking to rent in Amshlanga? How much would we, look, would we be looking to spend? Well, um, bachelor apartments here in Amshlanga go for around about, say about six or 7,000 to 8,000 rand, depending where you're gonna be uh, staying. The closer to the beach you get, the more expensive it gets. 
but if you're staying uh, a little bit further up the road, maybe in uh, Amschlanger Ridge or uh, behind Gateway, it's kind of cheaper there. But everywhere else, it's going to be expensive uh, because of the fact that you're close. To the proximity to the ocean, uh, the closer you get, the more expensive it gets. So uh, you find a two-bedroom flat in Amschlanger Ridge will cost you maybe about eight or nine thousand rand. You come closer to here, to uh, Amschlanger Rocks, you'll find it's going to go up to about seventeen to eighteen thousand rand for a two-bedroom. I know that seems weird, but uh, that's how science works <laughs> or finances work here in Amschlanga. So you're probably thinking, if that's how much it costs for a flat, then how much is it for a house? Well, <laughs> it's expensive. Let's just put it that way. It is expensive. I've seen houses go for around 50, 60 million here in Amschlanga. Dala, you go.